Yo guys, what is up? It is Lane here, and today we have a quick little video for you guys. So as you guys can see right here, we have a Fortnite Season 9 map. And today what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be discussing, in my opinion, the top 5 best landing spots in Fortnite. So, we're going to go ahead and get right into the number 1 spot here. This is going to be uncut, there's no editing in this. So guys, coming in at the number 1 spot... We're going to have this little spot up here, but in between, like right above Sunny Steps and Pressure Plant, you guys are going to see it. Like, it's these three red buildings, like right here. So, like, I'm going to put a little circle around it, red circle around it right here as I'm, as my mouse is pointing in on it because you guys cannot see my mouse because when I'm recording. So, there's these three metal buildings up here right above Pressure Plant and all these places. So essentially, this little spot right here is very good for looting because this place right here on this little building right here on the far left side, this building right here actually has a very good chest on the on the roof of it. It has every single time that I've searched this chest over the past week, I've, I've probably searched this chest 20 times. And on all 20 times, I have always gotten a golden or a purple gun out of this chest that is on the roof. I will show you guys an image like right to the left side of the map where Junk Junction is on where the heck this chest is. That is if I can find it somewhere on the internet. But yeah, and then also you have these two other buildings. This place is very good for wood and metal materials. And also, usually this area of the map is actually out of the circle. Usually this entire season eight part of the map is usually out of the, out of the circle. Usually the circle, you'll find it probably somewhere down here. In this area, Neo Tilted, Snobby, Polar Peak, Shifty Shaft, Salty, and Dusty. This place is always usually pretty far out. And another good part about this place is that there is actually a few ballers in this right building over here. And then also, if you go up on the map, you will find this little solar panel building up here that actually has pretty good loot as well. I've looted that thing a few times. And then also, if you go right up here to this part, of the map, you will also find a little loot shrine, like not like the shrines from season three. I'm talking like the Sunny Steps buildings, like the little two-story Sunny Step buildings that you'll find throughout this area of the map. And then right here, you have that little loot shrine, and that and it usually does have a chest on the bottom, and it usually does give me pretty decent loot. And then right here, you have on top of this like this little white spot on this hill, you have a um little campfire that will usually have a chest on it, and then where these, a ton of these, like, and then right on the, that same exact hill, you see all these trees right here, there's actually a zip line that leads over to this other white spot in the far right corner, right above Sunny Steps, this little white dot right here, that's actually a watchtower that usually has a chest on it, and also there's a ton of trees around there that usually give you 50 wood a tree, so if you guys don't get enough wood over at the three red building location, solar panels, loot shrine, and the campfire, you guys can always mine up there, and you'll be able to have max mats by then. Okay, so we're going to zoom out here and go to another location on the map. So we're actually going to zoom back in. So the next spot right here is going to be the trailer park in between Lonely Lodge and Mega Mall. This place right here was the first place that I ever landed at in Fortnite. And usually this place will be right on the edge of the circle. I usually tend, like, my circles tend to usually be... Mega, like, the, the circle will be, like, will have Mega Mall, Dusty, Loot Lake, Neo Tilted, Shifty, Salty, and Fatal in it. That will be my circle, usually. And this place, the, the trailer park, will always be right outside of the circle, so you don't have to do any transportation. But just in case there is a bad circle in your way, there is actually two quad crashers there. May I, I think there's actually three quad crashers there that you will find. There's also three trees in the middle right there. Then there's a barn at the middle that leads into it that has two chests in the roof of it. And then there's this little back building that's closest to the hill with the little um, zip line station and the ballers on it. There's like this little this little building right back here. And then to the left of this, there's actually a campfire with a chest right beside it. So usually there you can actually have a maximum of four chest spawns in this place. And also if you have bad luck with a storm, you can either go on top of this hill right beside right above it, get a baller if it's there, or get a hoverboard that's leaning on the side of the building, which is always there. 
and or you could just grab one of the three quad crashers and you'll be on your way. Usually I always do get decent loot from here. So yeah, that's why it comes in at the number two spot. But personally, my favorite spot on this list is the three is the three is the three red buildings, in my opinion. So coming in at the number three spot, we have Mexican Town at the bottom. This place is very, very, very deserted, but whenever it was first added in in season five, this was probably one of the most popular locations to go in Fortnite. And Honestly, I don't blame people for wanting to go here in season five because obviously in season five the desert was the new part of the map and everyone loved the and everybody loved the desert. And this Mexican place is still a very good spot to go. And personally, I believe this has one of the best loot in the like one of the best loot in the game. Like this thing is amazing. So this right here. This spot has like probably, I, I, I'd say like 20 buildings in it, but they're very small buildings. But usually the buildings, all of the buildings have two chests in them. So if you do if you do 20 times two, you have a maximum of 40 chests in this small little area. That is insane. That is flipping insane. And also right down here to the right where you'll see this little river running off into the ocean right here to the right of it. There's actually a few, there's actually a few um trailers down there that actually have a, uh, that actually have qu quite a few chests down there and a few pallets for some good wood. And also this, this, the entire Mexican town right there is actually good for wood because I think the entire thing is made out of bricks and wood. And then also you have a few trees around it that, that'll give you some good materials. And then also you have down there in this little crevice to the right of the river, like really directly to the right of the river. So like you're going to be at the edge of the river going into the ocean. There's that little crevice there. There's a rift down there in case you have a terrible freaking circle. You can rift all the way. I've, I've taken this rift before. You can take it all the way to Dusty Divot if you just deploy your glider as soon as you get to the, to the sky. You can go all the way to Dusty Divot and it's actually very, very, very useful. It's pretty good. So now that that part of the map is out of the way, Coming in at the number four spot, I believe, would actually be the this place. It's actually a tie between these these little two spots right here, these two little building places right here, and the castle right above Haunted Hills. Haunted Hills Castle, it's actually a downgraded version of the older castle. If this was the older castle from like season six and seven, honestly, this would be the number one spot. But... Personally, I just think this, the castle, is a decent spot. It, it, it always gives me decent loot, usually. This spot up here, right beside Junk Junction, actually right to the right of Junk Junction, in between the block as well. This place right here always gives me really good loot. So, yeah, that right there is a tie for number four. Those spots aren't really nothing special. Now we're getting out to, like, you know, like, the, the very crappy spots. And now coming in, finally, at the number five spot, we have... I'm trying to decide because there's so many locations that I like. I don't know which one should it be. Coming in at the number five spot probably is going to be the mansion. The mansion right below Lonely Lodge. Because I think the mansion, it still is a really good spot. But I just think there's not, there's not as much chest in this mansion as there used to be. In the basement, you'll probably find a maximum of two chests. But in the old mansion, you would probably find four maybe even five so this place is kind of downgraded but it is still pretty good i always get good loot and also there's that little hut house back there's also that like little house thing i guess you could say behind it like that little i guess like a car station behind it that that has a chest in the roof of that but yeah guys that is my top five landing spots in fortnite so yeah just in case you guys want to need some new landing spots that besides POIs, those are it. So yeah. Damn, I'm on